that comes straight from our CRF performance models. Um, there's all sorts of neat technology. We could we could spend hours talking to this. I, I really encourage you guys to come grab us after the presentation because we can talk some of the details, um, such as the integrated starter generator where they've com combined those both of those componentry into one. It was like a five pound savings alone. Um, the engine itself is over 13 pounds lighter than the previous year model. So um, pretty incredible what they've done with it. It's, it's part of the packaging and the layout. They've made it actually, the, the cylinder head banks a little farther forward, which puts the rider a little bit farther forward and just kind of, again, enhances that, that overall balance of the bike, puts the rider right where they need to be, right to get the great feedback from the from the road. Nice. So, moving next on to uh, the suspension. So that's the big story here. Obviously, this this front end looks nothing like the previous Gen Goldwing, and it doesn't look like anything else in our lineup. So this double wishbone is front suspension. Well, what are the benefits of having the suspension? Why did we design it? Incredible benefits from this. And, and again, as Tony said, you look at it, it's a little bit unique. Um, you know, some people are kind of making comparisons to maybe other competitors out there that have something similar, but it's really nothing like that. I mean, this was done the Honda way, engineered by our design team. Uh, and, and again, the bigger benefits that we see from this front end is is the, the you don't feel nearly as much of the road surface coming to the handlebars. It, it, that's a huge impact of, you know, for comfort when you're riding. Um, we've also, you'll look underneath the cockpit area you'll see a series of linkages that control it we've reduced the steering effort dramatically um, and, but the biggest thing and we really what we wanted to do is is kind of look to our customers and what their needs are we've got no more fork seals so we know these guys put thousands and thousands of miles on it and you know that's one of the areas we looked at how, how can we improve for the current customer you know they don't want to be out somewhere and get a ding and you don't have to worry about a fork seal leaking so you know talking about just performance but again and also looking at what our customers needs were and then making sure that you know we, we accommodate all those factors yeah, so when you get a chance, you know, peek underneath the uh, handlebars and up on the front fender there, and you can get a really good idea of what this looks like. It's it's, it's a completely new technology for Honda and uh, first time on one of our products. So um, next up is some more big news on technology. We, I mentioned earlier that this model was the most technology advanced uh, Goldwing that we've ever made. So there's a lot of new technologies, not only in the in the uh, operation and the drivability, but there's a lot of technologies for infotainment in the uh, in the dash. So, so Jeff, if you can like uh, maybe run down some of the new features on this Goldwing. Yeah, I think uh, you know one of the biggest ones again. Thinking of our customers, you know, the electronically adjustable windscreen, right? That was big. We really, you know, we knew we addressed that um, aspect. Um, but when you first sit on the bike, the first thing you see is this nice seven-inch TFT screen, um, and includes a navigation system that's standard and uh, turned on on all models. Um, there's no activation of that. Um, you get that as standard of either of these two models that you purchase. Um, it also gets a throttle by wire system now, um, a riding mode setting, so you have uh, four preset modes that, uh, specifically on the tour model, adjust things such as um, the power output, the HSTC, and as well as the electronically adjustable suspension. So, kind of very, very great stuff we've done we again looking at the cockpit we have a new toggle style system and some new switch layouts from our previous model we really wanted to try to simplify things make it easy for the customer make it intuitive to be able to navigate through your system um, some of the really cool items too again as a first for us is we look at this little guy right now we now have a smart key on this model so you know no more fumbling when you got your gear on you know you got your aero stitch or your rain gear on you don't have to worry about fumbling to get to your key as long as you're you know within the what we call kind of the hemisphere of the bike here it's going to know you're there it's going to be able to act you know turn on you'll be able to turn start your motor as well as unlocking your electronically controlled um, luggage uh, areas so really cool about a lot of neat stuff that we uh, we packed into this and we addressed a lot of areas that we knew we needed to but then went even beyond that with things such as carplay integration um, so for those of you who have an iphone um, you'll be able to plug that in access carplay those of you that are familiar with the automotive world that's pretty common it's very neat to be able to access your common apps there um, but we also have bluetooth integration for the for the non-iphone users so if you're an android user you'll be able to sync your phone via bluetooth be able to access your music and access your phone your uh, phone list and, and such as those things so you know again really trying to step it up to the next level and addressing you know what the needs are of this this luxury performance touring customer you know there's there's a lot of expectation that comes with that for a buyer that's stepping up to this kind of model so that, that's that's another convenience feature so there's a lot of a lot of uh, research done with consumers to find out how to make things more convenient and that just that approachability to uh, walk up to the bike and have the bike the bags unlocked and not having to fish for a key and hit unlock buttons like you do with even most cars now but to uh, be able to walk up and have your bike readily accessible to grab things out of it, that's a pretty nice uh, uh, convenience feature. Um, 
So you mentioned the CarPlay and then the Android Auto. So I mean, it's not. I mean, the Android functionality is through Bluetooth, right? Yeah, that's correct. So again, you're, we're not we're not uh, kind of alienating anybody out there. As long as you have a phone with Bluetooth capability, you'll be able to sync up with this model and be able to use your you know use your phone in, through through the navigation system on here to be able to access your playlist in your phone. Yeah. So. You can see this bike especially has a lot of accessories on it. So the next thing I wanted to go into is the accessories. You can see here that all new Goldwing, all new accessories. So there's going to be more than 50 accessories that are developed for this model that will be available. Um, accessories, uh, there's a lot of time spent on uh, developing new accessories for the lineup. So we have some really cool stuff you can see on this bike and some of the other bikes here. Uh, also next I want to talk about HPP, which is an extended warranty, so the new program for extended warranty on this bike. So a three year factory warranty, you can get an additional five on top of that. So eight years of protection through Honda for yeah, the gold wing. That's really unprecedented. That's a, it's really cool what we're doing because we know this customer, you know, it's a big decision when you're kind of investing in a bike like this. We want to make sure that we take care of the customer for the long term. So we definitely give them that that option to be able to upgrade, be able to be, you know, confident and sure that their model is going to be covered for the extended period of time. So uh, next up, I want to intro, intro the last video in that series I was telling you about, the Beyond theme videos. So this one was just released within like the last day or so. So a lot of you may not have seen it. 